have an audience full of Kenyan men and I'm going to be getting real on what a man's perspective is on dating and sex. The girls wanted to know from you, at which point are we in a committed relationship? You must hear it from him. To not go for commitment. This era you can't tell someone like, wait till marriage, no. We sit a game and boga kill a sick, we need to change diet. I'm a demote. Me borake me on my side, Nico safe, and I can yaga na timba. It's a free world, yeah? But what about your character? Every decision has a consequence. And every lack of decision has a consequence too. And this is a real talk. Today, it's all about the men. I have an audience full of Kenyan men, and I'm going to be getting real on what a man's perspective is on dating and sex. If you are waiting for a mango to get ripe, someone somewhere is eating it with salt. The choices we make can, can give you that chance. It's a free world, yeah? But what about your character? So can we make decisions now that later in life will not come back to impact us and maybe have a terrible effect? Tonight, as promised, I have an audience full of men and I'll be getting real with them on what is a man's perspective when it comes to relationships, dating, and of course, the big word, sex. I want to remind my viewers that this is purely an educational show because what we want to do is empower young people so that they can make the right choices. And to do that, we must get real on what are the issues what is their position on the values that perhaps they have been brought up by? What are the values that they believe in themselves? And I really want to thank all my guests before we start and the audience for coming on this show, participating on this topic tonight. And I really do hope that you learn one or two things that will actually help you lead a better life. And remember, you can always get on that hashtag, hash real talk with Tamima. Tweet me, Facebook, Instagram, DM your questions. I love getting your feedback. Well, right now, let's jump straight into it. Well, my first guest on today's show is John Meinger. John is 23 years old, and he says that since 2012, he gave up on being in a committed relationship because he believes that dating, well, that's for pleasure. To date, he says that he has a body count of 30 women and counting. Please help me welcome John to the show. <laughs> What made you believe that? First of all, it was a micro generation. So, I was like, 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 so sa history ya mapenzi jo no malafi generation sa hii like my boys pia ni ma as in wezi stick kwa kitu moja mapenzi ni kitu ngumu unaona first of all mapenzi as in you need kitu ya kwanza attention unaona you need time unaona if you sacrifice unaona hizo zote ni mapenzi mapenzi ni kama job squeeze but si squeeze as in vijana ndaka ile stare mob cause stare unajua stare na mapenzi vitu mbili tofauti wezi mix stare na mapenzi so unataka raha unaona mm, umefungwa eh. duka na unataka tu raha duka unaona ambao eh. unataka raha iwezi so like tia kwanza mimi naambiwa as in kama boys as in ni ngumu unaona wewe jibambe my boys sahi hii generation tuko nayo sasa hii si kama boys as in wewe wewe boys mmoja ukilana na madem kwa tano umeona hiyo ni utatoa watu wengapi mtu tano zindo but they make learn my boy what I'm talking about. That's nature. So you know, my nature, my boy is you. Please allow me to jazz on a gate. Wait, wait. Do you guys agree with John? 
If you agree, John, let me see your hand. That you're like, preach, man, preach to the choir. Okay, so you all agree that, A, you believe that men have the license to fungua duka as much as they want. Can I hear your thoughts, please? I believe in love, personal and myself, because even if you listen to music myself, it's all about love song. So I believe in trusting one girl. I don't support the motion that you as a man, you can go intimate with one or with two or more girls, because you are risking a lot of things. Okay, that's, so that's he disagrees. Nani ananya kubayana ne, wanaume kufungua duka ni lazima, leseni tumepewa. That is how God created us. Okay, mina ito aliko. Amina kubaliana na bro pali hivyo venye amesema kwa sababu ukiangalia sasa hivi venye kumekuwa eh hey, manzi inabidi sasa hivi ukanyage ukanyage ukiendaga mali umepata una tenda haki na unasonga mbele Hivyo tu na inaisha tu hapo Hivyo tu na inaisha tu hivyo Mapenzi ni history Mapenzi ni kama msimu inakuja inaisha unaanza ingine <laughs> Okay let's take another comment Kwa majina naitwa Sano Calvin uh, na kubaliana na ndugu mandugu zangu wawili uwezi kula uwezi tegemea mboga kila siku ni lazima uchange diet ukienda kwa mboga unaenda kwa kuku next time uende kwa pilau alafu siku hizi madem kutrust kwa madem ni kitu noma if you are waiting for a mango to get ripe someone somewhere is eating it with salt so i think trust is siku hizi ni noma jo. are you a poet no <laughs> like how did you come up with that? Okay, let's hear from you up there. <laughs> my name is uh, Odiambo Mushiri, and I totally agree with my brother over there. Um, he says uh, you can fungua duka and move on. It's very true. Um, I wanted to explain it using the lock and key mechanism. If mm -hmm. you have a padlock that can be opened by too many keys, it's, it's, it's useless. It cannot, it cannot secure your property. But if you have a key that can open many locks, then that's a treasure. That's a, an asset. So... <laughs> okay, wait. I have to remind you guys, huh? despite the fact that this is a male perspective show, I am a woman, and I have to speak up for the girls. <laughs> because what you're saying, basically, is that it's okay for you men to actually fungua duka with what, as many customers as possible. Lakini kifika wakati, you want to look for a wife or a girlfriend, like, and to put, use your words, lazima ile padlock iwe na kifungu moja. Lakini iwe kifunguo, utafungua padlock nyingi. So that's what you guys are saying. Yeah. Aren't those double standards? Can I, aren't those double standards? So if I had to ask you, John, for instance, yes. yeah, uh, do you think you'll ever get to a point in your life where you'll want to settle down? Mm, I don't think so. So you'll, ne you'll never want to have a wife, k family, kids, none of that. That's not, in your, that's not in the cards for you. Not in this world. Not in this world. Let me tell you one thing. First uh -huh. of all, even if those people get married, atako make vows pale mbele ya cha cha mawaku. No menda job, you can't trust a woman back at home. Ona. Even ata pia madem wakachin wa kiongea. As they discuss those issues, na juu, eh, hey, brayo, eh, hey, brayo, misi mwamini, eh, hey, jaribu, you know, na, like, unapiana, bado watu unapiana wrong advices. Then, neza kuambia, like, sayi, hii generation, sayi, like, kutrust mtu tia kwanza ni ngumu. Then, watu sayi ni, as in move, unajua, you know, stress, stress pia, it's a, it's a disorder, you know, unaweza kufa jua stress for nothing. Kuna watu unajua, stress ya mapenzi? Kuna watu unajua kujua stress. Okay, no? let me ask you, uh, do you have any sisters? Yes, I do. So, because you're generalizing and saying that all women are, will cheat, they are not faithful, loving a woman is too much of a headache for any man, so do you also categorize your sisters in that category of women? Yes, me, I can tell you one, one thing. Even and they're watching, eh? Yeah, even my sisters. Mtakutana. <laughs> yeah, even my sisters back at home. Uh -huh. As in, time to go home, time when I discuss all my issues, oh... Nani's Dwi and Sumbua, oh, Brian, you go and I lay, oh, like, she can't even talk for over one man, no, like, yet when you are on Gabriel, Brian, Marake, or like, and I do all men are the same, one, like, you girls, you are used to saying, like, all 
all men are dogs. So for oh. you, so like, all let men us are dogs, uh -huh. <laughs> let us bark everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'd like to introduce my next guest, who is Brian Injairo. So Brian is 19 years, and like John, he also says the same thing. He believes in playing the field, monogamy for who? He's young, he wants to have fun. Please help me welcome Brian to the show. How are you today? I'm fine. So, umesikia hayo yote John amekuwa akisema? Yeah. Una una unakubaliana naye? Yeah, nakubaliana naye. So, tell me at 19, yeah. you saying that commitment is not in the cards, which could be fine at your age, but it depends, yeah? yeah. Ideally, what's your dating life like? It has been horrible. Horrible how? Like you move from one chick to another. You leave her with lots of stress and all that. Yeah. So, how many girlfriends have you had? Countless. Give me a number. 20, 30? More than that. More than 30? At 19? Yeah. So, when you say you've had girlfriends, are these people that you have been intimate with? Yeah. So, more than 30 girls at 19? Yeah. When did you start being sexually active? Uh, around class six. Class six, how old were you in class six? <laughs> uh, 12. 12? Yeah. And is it something that, wh wh why did you start being, mono lifungua duka, ukiwa na 12 years at class six? Okay, nile time napata mnaanza kufunzwa kuhusu reproductive system. So like nile uko na ile hamu nda kujua eh, in nini eh, nda kufuatilia kabisa ujue yeah. And John what about you when did you start kufungua duka which like, age Like class 5 hapo So that's around age 11 12 as well Yeah 11 11 12 yeah. w w why did you start uh, first of all like it's all about nature uh, What do you mean nature environment Uh-huh uh, as in Namanisha nature, when I talk about nature, I mean the way you, the environment around you. So everyone around you, your friends and your peers, they were all, they no. were all kwame fugua duka wote? Like our generation, mm -hmm. it's a digital era. We have everything around us. Ona. It's called service on the table. As in akuletea kwa meza, you have it. Ona. You, you can use your simu, nini, nini, like unochis vitu, nona. So like when you go back at home, we used to have those, nini, soaps, blah, 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 nona. Like kuna porn sites, you view everything, you know, like you see everything. So like you want to try. Now I can tell you one thing, like, do you know why some why it's called buffet? You know, buffet, it's a group of foods, you know, mm -hmm. different kind of food. Mm -hmm. You taste one, you know, like you make a cue, you take like a cuckoo, go to nyama, spinach, you know, like, one by one, you so that's why so like you can't test where is she to moja for January to December to choke or no let's move well first of all when you when you go intimate with someone the next minute you shanza kumchukia okay let me ask Brian a question Brian yeah do you think that your parents know that umefungu aduka they don't know they well now they know <laughs> 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 so and maybe to you Brian you know in every in everyone's life usually at a stage in your life your parents will talk to you about sex you know yeah. trying to let explain to you what is sex when do you have sex so did anyone ever have that conversation with you outside of school yeah my uncles my mom I was in a group of GNC guiding and counseling mm -hmm. they talked to me but no. Kuna ingia apa? Kuna ingia apa inatokea uku. Like kuna toka uko inje, napatana na maboys nini, unawana na wasitana na sema, wah, damn. Okay. And yeah. what about you? Did anyone talk to you about sex when you were younger? Yeah. Like several times. My grandmother, my mother, they've been talking to me. No, it's all upon me to decide, not them. They just give you advice. You know what is good you take, you know what is bad you leave. No, they can't force you to take that advice. So if I had to ask the both of you, do you think in your family setting, how you were raised up, 
Were you brought up with the mentality that you must be a virgin till marriage? Maybe let's start with you, Brian. Yeah. You were taught from home that, Brian, you have to wait till marriage. Till marriage. What about you? Me too, but environment didn't allow. So that was like uh, preaching, water, like in kila mtu kunywa wine. That's all days. Now we are in another era. This era you can't tell someone like, wait till marriage. No, it can't be. You will go to high school, there are funky, blah, blah, blah. There are no parents there. They can't guide you. They can't be there to tell you, do this, do, this, do that. When you go to campus, you face like real life. Right. So you do anything you want. Is there anyone in this audience, and as a man, you can actually say that, Tamima, I broke my virginity when I was over 18, or I'm still a virgin. As I had earlier introduced myself, uh, I, can, I believe in that. I've been, I've been raised in a society where my mom tells me everything will come at its time. And at over 18, I felt that I was an adult and I joined the university, where I believe at first I had no someone that I loved. But as for now, I can say there is someone. And that's when I broke my virginity, over 18 years. At least when I'm a bit responsible, Okay, Let me, let's hear from you. My name is Ernest, Ernest Wongoe, and um, I waited for sex until marriage. I've been married for seven years now, and um, I grew up in similar environments like these young men, exposed to all this. I struggled with pornography for such a long time. I was addicted. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to talk to. It's a very embarrassing thing. So, and Ernest. I know what it means to struggle, but yet there are certain things that... I was taught by older men and certain things that I was taught by the people around me that made a difference despite the mistakes that I made. All right? So I realized a few things in my own life that one, there are many men here who no one has ever taught them to be a man. No one has ever taught you to be a man. Your father was probably absent and if he was present, he was a bad dad. And so the only thing that taught you to be a man is television. What did television tell you? Jack Bauer, violence. What did television tell you? James Bond, multiple women. And you get to a point where you do want to settle down. You may say right now, oh, Mr. Mr. Kikoa, Mr. Mr. Kiko settle down. A time will come when you'll want to. And right now, um, my wife and I run a, an organization called the Relationship Center. And we'll tell you the number of men that we counsel who tell me the mistakes they made in their teens and in their 20s, how they regret. It's amazing. Two-thirds of depression cases are men. Two-thirds of suicide cases are men. When you go to the root of them, it's not that these men have struggled, but really because no one really taught them how to be men. Absolutely. Okay, on that note, we'll be taking a very quick break. Don't go too far. This conversation still continues here on Real Talk. It's <laughs> most of us men to not go for commitment. So na jotu my areas in Nintendo, so mili ten minutes minimum manuva. The choices we make can can give you that chance. It's a free world, yeah? But what about your character? So can we make decisions now that later in life will not come back to impact us and maybe have a terrible effect? To real talk now earlier on we were talking about our topic today let's talk about sex as you can see I'm in a man's conference as my audience put it uh -huh. and I'm trying to actually empower the boy child here and getting very real on what is the reality when it comes to dating in today's Kenyan society what do the young men think so right now I want to invite my next guest who is Alex Mulwa Alex is 24 years old and he confesses that in any relationship he actually now says that he's a serial cheater. So I want Alex to actually put that into perspective for us. Alex, welcome to Real Talk. Hey, thank you, Tamima. Hey. <laughs> Sana. So Alex, you're saying that you're a serial cheater. Like there's no way to put, to put it. Equal to evil. You must cheat. I have to. So right now, do you have a girlfriend? I'm <laughs> but What do you mean, I'm 
uh, it's, it's like a uh, niko in a transition kuna mwingine bado wako mahali na bado kuna wako hapa sasa ngo jula yako hapa amekuona ukisema kuna mwingine yako pahali ama anajua already <laughs> lakini yako sawa <laughs> Misi thani, misi thani kama meniona, juu ni mtu busy sana. Ako busy sana, yeah. lakini wabeshite zaki wanakuona, watamuambia. <laughs> Sano jole kitupoa ni, mi, nyewe mini kidechide, misi takangi mabeshite wakiwa ni juwe. Ni mimi na yeye tu, e, na tunayesha hivu tu. So, ukisema, hmm. ukidechide, utaki mabeshite wake wakujue, hiyo ni commitment kweli? Unajua pia kuna penye unafaa kucheza safe. Sia ti, kila mtu ndo wanafaa kukujua ti, oh, this is my boyfriend, nini, nini, no. So nikikulizaje mm. wewe in future unaona kama unaweza settle down pengine upate dem awe, awe wife wako do you want that in future and i believe kuna mali itafika at least ni kuwe at least kwanza ni kunimetushika na raha kwanza unajua sasa hii mr danganya sasa acha kwanza tu nini acha kwanza tutembee tembee kidogo inafika kama mali point unakuwa committed unapata hata wezi toka nje eh yeah. so saika nikikuuliza umekuwa na madem kwa ngapi Sa unafaa ku specify from which year sa sa from acha acha tuseme from 18 eh oh, from 18 wow aya sa as you counting acha <laughs> nikuulize swali ushai kuwa na dem alafu dem anajua vizuri mmefungwa duka na huyo dem lakini bado umefungwa duka na dem mwingine na wako tu sawa na kwa mimi nakupenda lakini nimekuwa accept venye huko najua we ni cheater okay acha kwanza ni Acha kwanza ni fungu ya rosa hii. Okay. Kuna time nilikuwa na date madem wawili kampo na alikuwa na stay hostel moja. Na walikuwa na jo na date wote wawili. Walikuwa wanajua. Na walikuwa tu sawa. Walikuwa fiti. So ni nini unaona about you that madem like? Yaani mpaka madem wawili hostel moja. <coughs> eh wanajua ule ndio ule ndio guys. <coughs> Asije ni semeni azipat kuna kuna kuna, kuna msemo unasema ngati. Hakuna kitu na confusing dem kama good <coughs> na ni sawa tu so unasema yani duka yako mm, good ah. ziko top notch iko stocked naweza sema hivyo <laughs> so nataka kuuliza swali lingine moja ya mwisho yeah. mwenye tu umetuambia wewe kama Alex yes. kona dem umefungwa duka lakini bado unaenda kukula kwa duka nyingine mm. alafu so unafikiriaje kama au madem wote ambao uko nao wamefungwa duka pia wao na pia wanakula kwa duka zingine una hiyo ni poa ama ujali uko tu sawa unajua kila mtu anafaa kuchukua share yake na utembee thank you alex yeah. <laughs> okay my next guest is brian okoth brian is 24 and like alex he also says that he is a serial cheater uh, so brian welcome to real talk okay thank you tamima so niambie wewe yeah. umesikia venye Alex ametuambia hiyo story yote ndefu eh, lakini yeye kitu moja tu amesema nimefungwa duka Tamima lakini siwezi commit yeah. so even you that's what you believe in okay the truth is uh, that's what i believe in i'm a player and to me that's what i prefer in most cases cuz kuna ile instance unapata most of us men tunaogo pa commitment that's the truth na lazima tukubali hiyo tuwezi ficha tunaogo pa commitment So kuna ile instance unapata that uko in a relationship but then you are as youths let me talk about youths as youths tunaogopa zile relationships zinaenda for long unapata imefika a certain stage in a relationship and you, you get bored of the relationship so una find like after like a month you have to move to another relationship then at the same time pia naweza sema peer influence hiyo inakuanga like tuko kwa group ya rendea vijana unapata mwingine hapo amesema yes unajua manzi yake but anakuambia kuna wengine tena na unawajua so, na ni mabeshi yani birds of a feather flock, flock together they flock together so kawe mabeshi zako kawa wote ni maplayer mm, i can say most of them alafu nikikulizaje wenye tu umesema you don't believe that you can commit Una ingia relationship what do you think is the point of a relationship Yeah the point of a relationship uh -huh. is commitment Then why enter into a relationship, a relationship if you can't commit No the the, the relationship that most people need at the moment as youths ni ile relationship ya ku jump from one to another But then if you share set mind yako that you want marriage you kuja baadaye But then as per me myself the thing in the same sija set mind 
kwa relationship ni zile like unapata like this week like for example kuna bash mahali unaenda yes uko na dem mahali but then when you go to the party you find that after after the party you end up going going home with a different lady so that, that, that is whatever is happening to kila, us kila gari nafa kwa na breaks yeah. <laughs> ama si so drive gari pia iko na breaks si lazima tu ende 200 kilometers per hour yeah you know these things they are different nini ziko different in people to people like unaweza pata huyu amse ana prefer kwenda hivi and the other person ana prefer kwenda different direction so kitu muhimu ni wewe ujijue mimi niko hivi na u maintain hivyo so it's your own choice Okay. Na hivyo ndio nimefanya uamuzi wangu. So umefanya uamuzi wako? Haya acha tunarudi tu hapo. Right now I want to introduce my expert Diane. Diane is a re relationship coach and he's also a counselor as well. So he's going to be putting some of what we've had into perspective because we want to define what is a relationship. So that we can understand when a lot of young people are saying I'm in a relationship. Is that is the definition right? Is that a situationship or is that a relationship? Well, Diane, welcome to Real Talk. Um, first of all, I need to ask people over here. How many here are over 18 years old? 18 years old. Everybody. Everybody, yeah? This is, this is Once, a men's conference. This is a men's conference. And if you're going to be a man, you need to stop acting like a boy. Okay? You see my boys, you are grown men. It's a men's conference. And men behave like men. They don't behave like boys. So, that's first of all. And then second of all, Nimona, John, Brayo, Awota, Mongea, their decisions are based on fear. Number one, fear that ladies, um, uh, the ladies are also cheating. I don't know if hang out with them again. Because that's your choice. Because there are so many great ladies out there. And so if you're making your decision based on fear, because you cannot trust a lady, then kunashida. Kunashida, you are responsible for the women or for the girls. Maybe you're also pursuing girls, not women. You are men pursuing girls. You are men acting like boys. So there's a problem. And then another fear over here, uh, he was actually crying. He mentioned that um, Alex was like, you know, uh, my lady was busy, you know. He, that's a fear, that, he is actually fearing. Like, I spend time now, eh? that's a cry. That's a crying man, okay. you know. My <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me, let me give them a chance to respond, eh? Because Alex, I'm a SMZ. Alex, I'm a Yeah? Alex, are you crying? Do you agree with what he's saying? No. Please stand on up. <laughs> no. Sikubalia ina, eh? Kwa sababu uke angalia, okay. Si ati na ugopati ya na ezaona. Ni vile na juwa wakishedulia ke venye hiko. So, bado una get kinyo unataka kwa ke, na ukona free time, juye hana free time, kuenda kuintertain wengine. The truth is, the truth is, even us as men are tutaki kuwa ignored. Sindio? You want a lady who gives you time and attention. Ata kiwa busy. Because even us, kama wana ume, tutakonga busy, sindio? And the same way, pia si tutaka attention, au pia unataka attention. So you only fear don't sema. And then fear you kwapa ni fear of commitment. Eh hey. Fear of commitment. Sasa so, muona fear kuna fear ya madema to trust, fear ya anipati time, fear ya commitment. commitment. Zote ni fear, fear, fear. Wana umekuwa ni sisi tunaogopa. Zi, then we to stand up. Cuz once you start becoming a man, once you kona you know, you kona yo 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 tool yenye kona nguvu, you need to be responsible with that tool. And I need to correct something. We do not choose to become serious about matters of ya kufungua duka na kufunga duka because we are seeing marriage coming. No. You, you choose that because that's the man you've chosen to become. Umeamua. Whether and doa utawawa 10 years, utawawa 15 years, umeamua. This is the man, not the boy. The man I want to become. So, this is the man that I want to become. So you need to make up your decision. Do you become a boy who's got a man's body? Or do you become a man with a man's body? I don't know if you have a man. Check your man drop to bottom. Or my man is a Check if you have a man is a man. Even if you have a man, you have a man character. You have a man character. You have a man character. So that you don't blame your environment. At the environment I allow. At the internet I have a man. At my demo. No. You choose to become who you are, right? If right now, what one you want, you have a man. See? What is it? You've chosen not to be a murderer. So if right now, kunuaso na behave badly, you don't behave badly. You don't be like, ah, I love my boys. Come my boys. Kama your boys are misleading you, drop those boys, hang out with men. I think so. They, they've heard you, <laughs> but again, they've heard you. And I want to put it back to the audience, because what he said, drop those boys. But you know it's easier said than done.
Ni wangapi hapo anasema Diane yenyewe kinyi unasema mimi najua ni ukweli. Ini watu mkono. Ilo jamii najua tu kinyi anasema ni ukweli lakini ku implement kazi. So ni nini, nini unaona kama we kama individual una struggle nayo that hawezi implement kinyi Diane anasema? Eh acha tuseme hiyo kitu nakwa noma sana. Juu sometime mnaweza kuwe hata we cheat but mwenye mkono eh ana kupeleka hivi hivi lakini hiyo si ni fear venye anasema ah, kuna ile fear yes but yeah. still inaweza kuuna fear but yeye ako na fear towards you so unaona ai huyu mzee hata mimi acha nifungue duka kadhaa na hapo nje then tutarudi baadaye lakini bado mko pamoja eh, kila mtu ana kwa pamoja eh so ukifungua duka mimi naenda kufungua duka ukifungua ni sawa na wewe ikiwa ukiwa hiyo okay with that it's okay but okay even ndo unasema that's the way things are lakini deep down in you yeah. is that how you want things to stay ama if there is a woman watching this what do you want to say to the girls because when you Diana amesema fear mimi mnaogopa siku hizi machali unajua mume mume bring up mkijua mimi ni chali so i am allowed to go you know wanasemaga plant seeds <coughs> nitafungua duka na nitauza bidhaa kila kona lakini siku hizi mnajipata generation ya madem wenye wana compete na nyinyi so kuna ile fear so in short unasema if i can get a good chick mwenye neza muamini pia minta pia minta funga duka ama kama anafungua ni sisi tu wawili pekee peke yetu okay nasema okay oh, in this generation kupata mtu ako serious is very hard ju generation ju tumekuwa ladies wakisema hivi men's wanasema hivi men's wakisema hivi ladies or they say the different thing so if i find the right person it's good i can settle but if it's if Sometimes it's very possible to find okay neza fungwa duka in case i don't have but if you serious na funga duka yangu nini hapa neza sema mimi na disagree na believe kuna madem wa poa na mimi niko na dem poa huyo yani dem ana adabu hata tusikie tusikie hapa okay thank you so much for this opportunity uh, my name is billy um, in my life i can say if you want to be poor have many women but if you want to build yourself just have one 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 lady Okay the way I am this way is because of that one girl that I met. I think we're in a relationship for now 2 years. I'm 24 years. I, I can blame our society because as an anthropologist by profession, we come from a patriarchal society whereby you see that dominance of a man, but it's all about a choice. Okay, the choices we make can can give you that chance. It's a free world, yeah? But what about your character? How will people see you if you have many women? I'm I'm sorry to use this dirty word but is full of dignity you have to respect it give it to one girl that's how people respect you thank you so much right okay <laughs> okay so remember you can join the conversation via the hashtag hash real talk with Tamima. let me know what your comments views and questions on tonight's topic are if this is something you're struggling with please reach out we we'll link you up with experts who can actually talk you through it help you through it but right now it's time for me to take a very quick break i'll be right back and let's admit that the struggle is real that men are struggling so na jo tu my areas in tenda so mbili 10 minutes mimi nimemaliza kuna vitu madem wafanyie zinakaa simple but yenyewe zina make impact so can we make decisions now that later in life will not come back to impact us and maybe have a terrible effect? Welcome back to Real Talk. The conversation still continues here on today's topic whereby I'm at a man's conference and the guys are getting real with me. And later on, I'm going to be taking questions from some of you, especially ladies, in terms of if you were to get into a man's head, what do women want to know? But before that, I have to introduce my next guest, who is George Mugambi. George is 22 years old, and for him, sex is an addiction. Please welcome him to the show. Yes. Kopoa? So George, you're 22? Yes. Lakini naambiwa wewe sasa hii kuna kitu na struggle nayo. Nimekuwa niki struggle leo sasa ndio na feel ile point sasa ni kama inaisha kabisa. So how long have you been struggling with your addiction to porn? 
it didn't start actually with Pony ilianza tu na ile sex and you know I lost my mom at a very young age so una joke grow up ile unaambia time will heal you sijui nini but una joke una misome say but always express alafu una joke after high school ni ile self discovery so unaanza kuwa mwanaume unaanza kucheki madem unaanza ku influence you na mabishti wako and all sasa hapo ndio ilianza so wewe ulianza kuwa sexually active at which age Um, can we say 17 at 17 yeah. years okay and at which point did you now start seeing that okay i'm getting addicted to sex eh uh, if no jomi siko ile at addicted nenda nachukua nenda kwa dem tunabonganea ama ni introvert by person so mi ilikuwa nile niko na so mbili so tano na jua mashimo za tao so mi ilikuwa na jua macho na naishi mlolongo so na jua tu maeria zenye nitaenda so mbili 10 minutes mimi nimemaliza so ili fika tu point unaona adina bidi tu na danga nyo sio kutumia pesa ile pesa ume save inaisha tu yote upon the... only realize this thing now is actually a very bad thing so ikakuwa sasa ile unalipa you're paying for it yeah. so at what point did you now start going online to get it because you can't pay every day and it's very costly so unaona if you don't have money to pay so you just go on your mobile 20 bob kon 100 mbs kuna masaits tu hapo kwa alone unajifungia kwa hao yako mimi unaka kwa hostel so uko tu peke yako unaambiwa same mimi tu nimetulia peke yangu spendangi kelele nyingi lakini uko ndani you know what you're doing is this something that you've shared with someone perhaps try to seek help for i seek help first at first nili nilianza tu kushare na mabishti wangu then one of my friends told me have you shared with your folks so mimi nikaenda nikachapia si wa home I can get help from like a pastor but I could work so ile one day me tu niko maziara zangu tao so mi nimetoka tu hivi form akasikia mtu amenigonga hapa eh kijana si umejibamba so unaja tu utadhania ni muizi but then ilikuwa police wakanishika wakani explain ya this thing is bad you should stop seek help this and this and this and then from there and you nikasha with like my brother in law nikaanza kwenda counseling from there so you were arrested for watching in a public no i was arrested after nimetoka ku have sasa unajua ile police wanakuanga wamejificha tao hizi jua mm-hmm. so mimi nimetoka tu nikidhania tu ni muizi ananiambia eh una nini nini so mimi nikitrai kukimbia akaniambia usikimbie sana si ni police tutakushutia tu hapa So how did your family try to help you now deal with it after that after that arrest uh, they looked for a counselor alafu ndio sasa nikaanza kwenda hizo sessions alafu sasa pia nikaanza get your confidence to work from it okay yeah. i'll introduce anes so anes spoke earlier whereby he gave some advice but i really want him to come on and perhaps just try to see whether he can give some form of insight to george because as well Ernest is a father right now. He's a former porn addict, so he's recovered and he runs Powerhouse, which is a men's pornography addiction recovery program. And the fact is this, if today you went to Google and checked what are some of the most visited sites in Kenya? Porn sites. And the reality is both males and females, young people are consuming content from these websites. So this is something that we must talk about because like you're seeing from George's story addiction is real addiction is not just for alcohol and drugs there are other forms of addiction that can actually be very harmful to a young person's future so please help me welcome honest Honest, <laughs> welcome to real talk so you spoke earlier and you mentioned that uh, porn is something that you've personally struggled with yes and you were able to overcome it and yes. right now you're living a more fulfilled life mm-hmm. so here we have george a young man 22 years old yeah. and i have to applaud him because he's recognized that he's struggling with something because yeah. there are so many other young men like him mm-hmm. who have their heads buried in the sand yeah. whereby they have a problem but until they recognize it's a problem mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. can't really be helped mm-hmm. yes yeah, so um it's a real struggle that's for one I, i normally when i talk to my class i tell them let's admit that the struggle is real that men are struggling and uh, my struggle um, began in campus and for the very first time i experienced freedom like i'd never experienced before and with that came a lot of liberalism with my entertainment and then it led to an addiction so um, i was stuck in it silently for a very long time um, members of my church didn't know my family didn't know my mom is an anglican vicar 
all right? So it was very difficult to come out and speak about it, just like George was saying, like, where, where do you go? Who do you talk to? And you talk to many people and they think this is a problem that um, you need someone else who maybe understands it to go through it. So that's why I made a vow that as soon as, soon as I got out, I, I decided to help men who are struggling with such addictions to get out. And that's how we started our program, Powerhouse. Yes. So, for instance, because we do know that, like you said, it's an addiction. Yes. And addiction is a form of disease. Yes. And right now we're talking about kufungua duka na kufunga duka. Yeah. And earlier on you had like the points that Diane was making mm -hmm. whereby for a lot of young men right now, they are disillusioned. Yes. There is no more trust in what love and commitment is supposed to be. All right. So you'll realize this, and especially with porn as an addiction, whereby okay. someone might think, oh, I'm not having physical sex with a woman, mm -hmm. But I can still get the same high yes. through the internet. Is that, yes. is, that, is, that, is, is that probably how you got hooked? And uh, it's cheaper? Yeah, it's actually cheaper. So, you know, Joey, like it's 50 bob, you are like sorted for almost three days. Now, you know, Joey, and you're very creative. You have a safe in your phone, in your laptop. So, maybe feature too. And then you so, you download? You download and you save. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think we also need to understand how addictions work for us to understand that um, it may be cheap. It may be, it may look safe from the from the from the outside, but it really does have a long term effect. If you just look at several studies that have been done on pornography, pornography causes premature ejaculation. So when you finally get to a point when you do settle down with a woman, it does affect your sex life. All right, uh, pornography and masturbation, which go hand in hand, also. Um, Th th this is what a, a neurologist will tell you, that once you consume pornography, there's a chemical in your brain called dopamine that's released. Dopamine is a feel-good chemical. It tells you, oh, that was so good. Let's do this again. It's the high. It's the high, exactly, yeah. dopamine. But the more you consume it, a neurologist tell us that there's another chemical that is produced in your brain, and they call it Delta Force B. Delta Force B is called by neurologists the addiction protein. And what Delta Force B does is that it sends a different message to your brain. It tells your neurons, let's do this now. You see, dopamine tells the brain, let's do this again. Dopamine can wait. But Delta Force B tells the brain, let's do this now. And you get compulsive disorders where you want to consume the product immediately, no matter where you are. Okay. Yeah. So if I had to ask you, George, yes. uh -huh. are you willing to work with Ernest? If I'm he, willing. If he told you that he's willing to invite you to Powerhouse, mentor you, work with you, and you know that it's not something that can be yeah. fixed overnight. Yeah. You have to commit. Are you yeah. willing to make that promise? Yes, I'm at a space where I think I'm willing to yeah. work. And, and I if think he's uh, willing, I'm willing. And yeah. I think as well, if you're watching this from home and this is something that you're struggling with or a loved one of yours is struggling with, please reach out. We'll put you in contact with Ernest and you can actually get them the kind of understanding, you know, help somebody who's walked down that path to help them at, to help them at least deal with that addiction. Now, as I promised you earlier, this is a man's conference, but you know what they say, yeah? Behind every successful man or strong man, there is a woman. So the women asked me, Tamima, to actually get in the heads of the men and find out a few, a few crucial things when it comes to love, relationships, and of course, sex. So right now, I want to throw it to my men's audience. The girls wanted to know from you, at which point are we in a committed relationship? Because I believe there is a girl watching this man's conference. She believes she's in a relationship with one of you here. Like in woman, you are single. And I'm I'm not sure. So at which point? What, what defines a relationship, guys? So thank you for the opportunity. I am Bran. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I am Bran and... Uh, I think somebody commits themselves from when they are free with your friends, they are free with your family, because they, you see, me knowing your family helps me. So, Ilya Alex, also yeah, I don't know myself. her friends, she doesn't know mine. That's no, not a I relationship. Think, I think that's, that's, that's an insecurity. It's, it's a tactic many, many guys use. I've also ever used it because I was not ready to commit myself. And once I'm interested in knowing your friends and Knowing your family, I think I'm a bit committed to you, and you should see that as a positive sign. Okay. Yeah. I want to invite David Kimani. David is actually, he deals a lot with counseling young, 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 young men, especially, mentoring them into manhood. So David has been in the audience this entire time. David, I want you to join the conversation. Yes. So that if there's any young woman watching, 
and also for the men in the room and those watching, mm. contextualize. Because he mentioned that uh, one of the signs is you meet the friends, you meet the family, but I can mm. give you a whole truckload full of girls who'll tell you, I even met the grandmother. Alinipeleka mbaka ushago. Lakini still, he cheated on me and I was cast aside. Um, one of the mistakes many ladies make is to assume that because he has taken you home, because he's bought you coffee, he's introduced to his mom, that you're the girlfriend. You must hear it from him. So it must, must be, be said. It must be said. You, girlfriend. Me, yes. boyfriend. Yeah. See, see, together, you know. <laughs> Um, and so and I, I've seen that with a lot of girls who, because they went for coffee, you met his mom, and then you assume that you're together. And uh, the guy is having another friend. He has, he has a best friend. He has a sister he was looking for. Uh, and so there must be that commitment. But let me ask you, David. Now, yes, man's conference, but you didn't mean it. Not in corner. If you've ever just said it because you believe that is what she wants to hear. So if I say it, I will get what I want. It's really common. Unfortunately, also, that has also been abused. So let me use that word, for lack of a better way of saying it. That people have said, I am committed to you because there's a benefit to it. And they're more interested in the benefit rather than the relationship. And so I, I think that's one of the reasons why then the girls find themselves in that piece of trouble. They're not sure whether this guy, like the last guy who said, I'm in it, but he was more interested in the benefits rather than anything else. But I think as a man as an, and as men, we have to live our lives responsibly. Every decision has a consequence. And every lack of decision has a consequence too. Uh, and so even as I'm listening, uh, all these things we are doing now later on have a consequence. You may do it at 24, at 20, it may look like nothing. At 45, at 50, has a big consequence. Um, and I love what the gentleman said. You know, behind every great man is one lady. Never many ladies. Look at about a guy who's broken, and you see the number of women. And so it's for us to decide what decision must I make now. Is it tough? Yes, it is. Because the moment you, con uh, you make a decision for one, beautiful, more beautiful ones will show up, other ones will look like that, but you must live with that. And as men, we must be willing to live with the consequences of our decision. Uh, I think what breaks my heart as I listen to this is, I've, I was sharing with my friend here. I know a young man, 35. He has nine children. He knows. How many others he doesn't know? Can you imagine how his life is right now? You know, he's only 35. Uh, we may think we are sticking off and we are sleeping all these girls. And I remember when I look back in campus, even my friends who thought we were heroes because we were sleeping with everyone, the regret right now is how much pain they caused. Now that they understand, when you have children, when you have daughters. And I don't think, you know, Ernest and I maybe have this. I have an 18-year-old. I don't want to imagine someone is going to take her through that. And I don't think as men we, at that age we think we'll get children. So can we make decisions now that later in life will not come back to impact us and maybe have a terrible effect? That's my two cents. Do you agree? <laughs> so the other question that uh, the girls wanted to find out from the guys is that, why is it yeah, that, yes, fine, you've told me I'm your girlfriend. When I get a man, how do I keep a man? So if you were to look at perhaps everyone who we've talked to here, and we've mentioned things like fear, so for those in the room, what are some of the things you know that me if I got a girl tamima, mwenye na pika chapati, ana karanga kuku, I will stay. Or maybe a girl who's God fearing, there's someone here who said mwenye havai makeup. So what are those things that man's conference, you're like, the girl that is the one, she must come with this. Thank you Tamima, I'm Malvin Mwamba, in a relationship for three years. Yeah, it's possible, by the way. Why are you guys shocked? You're all like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, huh? I, don't I, I, I don't cheat, and I never cheated. I raise it to you. I don't cheat, and I never cheated. 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 I don't cheat, and I never Ni, ni simple but in a make impact in a make impact una uko happy yani cuz i ku cheat ku cheat ama ku 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 unfaithful ni expensive by the way mm. utakuwa de moja utaka umpeleke date ufanye cheo unafanya umaliza tena mwingine bado the same thing ukiwa de moja utaenda hiyo date moja na bado unaweza save hata kana ni ku save i think it's put so well the more women you have the poorer yeah. you will be cuz girls have demands right okay so I want Diane to close for us, Diane, because there is a statement which really just wraps us this topic for us. They say that men have sex with their bodies, 
but women with their minds and hearts. So we have a generation that has been brought up, socialized to believe that for a man, kufungua duka ni lazima. Kufunga duka. If I asked in this audience, and truth be told, it's not cool for a man to say he's a virgin at 25. Society shames him. Um, first of all, I need to say that as a man, there's so many things that are attacking and battling our identity. So many things that are battling our identity. And so once you need to decide that the kind of man that you're going to be, once you've chosen who you're going to be, then you have a vision for yourself and then the vision for your woman. Yes, it may be that um, society may frown upon you uh, being a good guy. But as, you've, as you actually have seen, people are applauding this gentleman for being in a relationship for three years. In other words, they aspire to be like him one day. One day. Because men, yes, it say that some people say that we don't make love with our, uh, with our heart and whatnot. There's a difference between making love and having sex. Sex is all about, you know what? Umefungua duka, umingeoko dani, umechukua sijui ni chumvi, umeenda. But making love, it's a commitment. It's something that you do because you do it out of love. And I'll, I'll say this also as husbands. We have husbands over here. When we make love to our wives, it is because it's special. It's something special. We are 100% involved in it. It's something that we treasure. And so if you're, not, if, if you're missing around with, uh, with, with the act, then you're missing out on something beautiful. You can open up one duka in marriage, and that one duka can have everything that you want. You don't need to go out there and get open another duka or check another duka. It has every single thing that you want. And let me tell you this. As somebody who's counseled so many men who've actually cheated, we act all tough in our cheating. Oh, yeah, you know, we, we act like our ego is, 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 is on point. And all, but we hurt. Whenever we hurt women, it hurts us. And the problem is that once you hurt a woman, you go ahead and hang around men or boys who are who also hurting hurt. women yeah. or girls. And so they make you feel good, but they're also hurting. So can you stop hanging around men who are hurting themselves and hurting other people and join men who've actually healed, men who are in the business of healing other people, yeah. and then you put love. Wow. Okay. I think really lots of... I think I can say that uh, we've had a successful man's conference, right, guys? Yes. Well, on that note, that's it from me, Tamima. Thank you so much for tuning in on tonight's topic. Remember, if this is an issue that we are struggling with, please reach out, send a message to us. We'll link you up with the relevant persons so that at least they can help you through which, whichever situation that you may be in. Well, until next time. Special thanks to E-Plus for medic and ambulance services.